Welcome back. In this quick video, we would want to provide a quick introduction to NPM, Node Package Manager. If you visit the home page of NPM, which is npmjs.com, it says NPM is the package manager for JavaScript. If you are a Java developer, then you would be aware of Maven repositories or the tools Maven and Gradle. Maven helps you to define a dependency and download it from the Maven repository. And that's exactly what NPM helps us to do in the JavaScript world. You can define a dependency in a specific file and you'd be able to download it. The prerequisite for this specific step is having NPM installed. So if you have NPM installed on your machine, then you're good. Now I'll go ahead and do a NPM init. So this is used to create a new project with NPM. Now it's asking me for a package name for the project I am creating. I'll say first project or first package with NPM. That's the name I'm giving it. Let's have the version as 1.0.0 description. I'll not worry about it. And take the default for all the rest of this stuff. It's showing a package.json file and it's asking if this is okay. I'll go ahead and say yes. Now let's do a clear and Let's do a ls. If you're on Windows, you can do a dir. You can see that a file called package.json was created. You can open up this package.json, any of your editors. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and drop this in Visual Studio Code. What do you see in here? You see the name that we have given, version, description, and a few other details. Now, in this particular project, I would want to make use of jQuery. What should I do? One of the options typically JavaScript developers of the old era, I mean, a few years back would do is go to Google, search for jQuery, download the JS file and put it into your project. That's what I've done a few years back myself. The problem with that is you are taking over complete package management. Let's say there is a new version of jQuery that is released. It's on you to go ahead and download it manually and put it into the project. If the jQuery needs a few other JavaScript files, then it's on you to make sure that you have the right versions of those dependencies as well. However, if I'm using npm, all that I would do is I'll say npm install jQuery. This is downloading jQuery and it's adding to my folder. If you do a, let's do a ls minus l, you'd see that there are three different node modules, package log.json and package.json. The important thing is what's inside package.json. You'd see a new dependency added in jQuery and 3.3.1 and there is a caret symbol down here. What the caret represents is you can use any latest version of 3. So if the latest version of 3 is 3.5.6 then you can go ahead and download and use it. That's what we are telling it in here. The advantage of NPM is you can define a number of dependencies in here. So you can keep adding dependencies and when you do NPM install, all the dependencies would be downloaded for you. Where are they downloaded to? The interesting thing is they are downloaded to a folder called node modules in the same folder. So if I go to the folder where package.json was present, node modules, and here we have the jQuery. Now, if I go ahead and delete this node modules project, let's say some a new developer is picking up this package.json. All that he needs to do is call npm install. You'd see that once you click npm install, again, the node modules folder would be created with all the dependencies. Here, I just have one dependency. If there were two or three dependencies, all of them would have been imported as well. A lot of Java developers who move into the front-end world find it difficult to understand the different tools which are present in here. And that's the reason why we thought it would be useful to include a quick introduction session to NPM at the start of this course. Now, you know what NPM is used to do. It is used to do package management. I'll see you in the next step. Until then, bye-bye.